So you have just seen some pretty um, funny talks and conversations of some legendary bands. Among them is definitely has one of the my favorite, Koyo, and obviously they were they've been doing great for a really long time. Unfortunately, they have passed away a couple of years ago. Um, I found it's really uh, interesting that first of all they were being categorized as um, pop music, and they were back then, this is many years ago, they were talking about the same thing all the musicians are talking about now. Like, um, they don't want to get into the cycle of releasing a record and touring, and then releasing a record and touring and repeat themselves. Uh, and they want to be the pioneer of their time, but all these kind of things that people still want to do. But in the other way, everything has been done, no matter when they existed or when we are making what we're doing. Of course, the problem is not about what you want to create as like the, let's say, the, the, the you generate something completely new. That's, I personally think it's not possible. When they were talking about their idea of, of music in that time, they were definitely the pioneers of, you know, basically creating this genre of noise, industrial, experimental dance music or anything you call it. And it is also very, very fearless and brave gesture that they could get on the stage and be out there, you know, not hiding behind a um, computer screen or a strobe lights or heavy smokes. Um, because of any kind of political reason they could have named. They were out there, they were communicating with the audience, eye to eye, face to face, I found it's very brave. And also it was very interesting as well for me to, to see how in this, let's say, genre of music, they put a lot of elements of theater, performance, art. Um, so the boundaries between art and music and theater, dance, film, all this kind of forms of art and expression comes together to serve uh, something that is actually very rough and raw. And I think this kind of gesture is definitely uh, has its very special power. Um, so talking about um, gestures and all these forms of art comes together to create something, I wanted to show um, another interview. It's. Um, a conversation between Susan Sontag and John Berger on storytelling. 